I know y'all see this hair though. I know y'all see this growth. I had to do it for the one year, you know? Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, it is full on glam season in my studio. What do we think? What do we think? So I can't believe that I'm about to say this, but welcome to my one year big job journey update. I just literally can't believe that it's been a full ass year already. Time has completely flown. My hair has grown, of course. And it's just been an eventful hair journey for me. So in this video, I'm gonna cover everything from beginning to end. I'm gonna share with you all the things that I've learned over this past year. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my hair story for those who don't already know it. And I'm also gonna show a little bit of never before seen footage of me in the car outside of the hair salon right before I'm about to get my big chop. So yeah, if you're interested in hearing all about my big chop journey thus far, then just continue to watch. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give a super quick rundown of my hair story, like from the beginning, for those of you who might be new to my channel. I think I got my hair relaxed when I was around like seven or eight or something like that. I had no idea what my curly hair, like my natural hair looks like. Like literally, zilch, no idea. And you know like how your hair changes? Like, of course I remember seeing photos of my hair when I was younger, super long, super big, but your hair changes as you turn into an adult and I just, I wasn't sure at all what my natural hair looked like. And with the natural movement happening, I was just, I don't know, I started to get a little bit curious but I was one of those girls who was like listen I'm never ever going natural y'all are crazy just as like some little challenge to myself I was just like let's just see how long it is no intention of going natural none of that I was just like let's just see how long I can go a few weeks pass and I realized oh this is kind of nice so I stopped straightening my relaxed ends and I would use different products, different curling custards and gels and stuff to get my ends, like my relaxed ends to crunch up. Once I realized that my relaxed ends could curl up, that was it. I was like, girl, this is kind of nice. This is different from the straight look. And eventually I started to prefer myself with the more wavy, curly kind of look. So once I started to prefer that look on myself, I then started to say, okay, let's see how long I can go without putting any heat on my hair. Just seemed like a fun thing to do at the time. After a while though of just like starting to really appreciate, you know, curls and waves and bigger hair, I started to consider going natural. Now my whole plan in the beginning was to transition. I said, hell no, nah. I'm not built for the big chop. I'm going to transition. I will wear braids. I will scrunch my ends. It'll be fine. Like, I got this. So I kind of put like a time limit on it. I said I was going to transition for a year and then I was going to go ahead and just chop off whatever ends I had left. That was the initial plan. I lasted about five months before I decided that I wanted to big chop. To me, dealing with the two different textures was just way too much. I started to realize that I was wearing my hair slicked back in a bun all day, every day. And so after a while, I just absolutely had it. My hair, like I swear to you, I probably went like a good two full ass weeks every day with my hair just slicked back in a bun and I was like you know what this doesn't even make sense I'm trying to go natural I'm trying to transition the whole reason for me transitioning is so that I could still have hair to show but I'm so frustrated with it that I'm just slicking it back and rolling it into a bun and that's it so that's when I started to consider a big chop because I'm like no one can see my hair anyway I look bald anyway what if I just big chop now, the whole idea of a big chop was extremely scary to me. Like, I even kind of laughed at myself a little bit in the beginning when I was like, mm, what if I do a big chop call? Like, girl, hell no, you know you're not gonna do that. But, I don't know, the thought just, once it was in my mind, it just, I thought about it every day. I did tons and tons of research every day. And because of the natural hair movement, there were all these beautiful girls with these beautiful teeny weeny afros. I started looking at all those girls and looking at different cuts, like, you know, a rounded cut versus a tapered cut and all that kind of stuff. Like, I just kind of obsessed over the fact of big chopping for a little bit. And again, you know, in the back of my mind, I was like, Psh, I know I'm never going to do it. But it was kind of fun to, like, explore the idea. So then one day I went to my hairdresser. You know, kind of just saying like, I'm really sick of my hair. Um, look at how much new growth I have. Like, what do you think? Like, 
do you think I could big chop it without looking completely bald right now? Like, what do you think? And I went in there fully expecting her to be like, Alyssa, no, like you're ridiculous. You've only gone five months of transitioning. Don't big chop. But to my surprise, she was ready to go. And I think just seeing her confidence in it, I was like, okay. Let's make the appointment. <laughs> so when I set my hair appointment, I had about two or three weeks to go before I actually went to the appointment. So I spent that time talking to people, doing research, going online, watching YouTube videos, going on Pinterest, like everything, all of the above. And it's crazy because everyone, everyone, all of my loved ones told me not to do it. Save maybe two or three people, but majority of my loved ones, like 99% of them were like, no, are you crazy? But I think deep down I knew that I needed a change. I was absolutely frustrated with my hair and I just couldn't take the two textures anymore. Like that is how frustrated I was with it. And just after having it in a bun day in, day out, day in, day out, I was just like, I might as well just chop it off. I really might as well just chop it off. So I'm just gonna play a really quick clip of me in the car right before I went to do my big chop. Nobody has seen this before, so brace yourself. Hey guys, so uh, it's D-Day. Um, right now I'm about to head to the hairdresser and do my big chop. So my appointment is in 25 minutes and I'm so nervous. I am nervous, excited, and wondering why the hell I'm doing this. <laughs> but at the same time, I just feel like it needs to be done. I'm ready for the growth. I'm ready to take on this natural hair journey. I'm just gonna rock it. I'm just gonna rock it and I'm just gonna slay lives. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. So as you can see, I was pretty like, I was just completely nervous, terrified, just talking to myself, a verbal diarrhea type shit. But at the end of the day, like even beneath all of that, I had confidence. I had confidence in my decision, number one. And number two, I had confidence that I didn't care how it turned out, I was gonna rock it. So in terms of the experience that I've had over the last 12 months, I would say it's just been a multitude of different phases and different feelings and emotions. So when I first big chopped my hair, it was absolutely incredible. It's hard to describe the feeling that I felt. There were other girls in the salon telling me I looked beautiful and encouraging me. My hairdresser, of course, she was amazing. And so that day I felt free. Walking out of that salon with no hair on my neck, I didn't have to worry about no two textures. I knew my hair was about to be easy as hell to manage. Like, I was just elated. I was so happy, so excited. Now the next day when I woke up, that was a little bit different. So I woke up like, holy shit. Like I really did this. <laughs> you know, I was like touching my head and I was like, okay, all right, cool. But I woke up the day after my big chop with the realization that shit, I need to style this and I do not know what I'm doing. So I had a little bit of a mini panic. I was just like, mom, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to style this. I don't know what to use. Like I just felt lost. It's very easy to just feel overwhelmed with it. Um, so yeah, I definitely experienced that on the next day. After that, I started to get a little bit more of a hang of, you know, figuring out my curls. I started out the first like three, four months, I would say, finger coiling my hair every day. My curls were super loose and I really had to finger coil to activate the curls and get some curl definition going. The longer my hair grew, the tighter my curls got. But with that being said, that means my curl pattern's changing, which means my hair is responding to different products differently. And so when you go through those changes, when you realize, okay, this is no longer working for my hair, or okay, my hair is too long to finger coil it every single day, like what am I gonna do, you know? Going through those moments can be challenging as well because you feel a little bit overwhelmed and it's so easy to get frustrated and want to say, no, I'm going back to the creamy crack. I need straight hair now. But um, don't do that. So all of this is to say that this journey has really just been a multitude of different emotions. Like it's just been a crazy roller coaster, like a super eventful roller coaster. It's challenging. But it's exciting at the same time, you know? I think my favorite 
like all time favorite part about my Big Chop journey is getting to connect with other naturalistas across the globe, like on Instagram, on YouTube, you know, even some emails that I get, like it is just amazing how our natural hair community, like we just love to uplift and support each other. We just be like, yeah, sis, you're killing it. Like, it's like almost like we're united by our hair and I just, I just, I would never go back. I love natural hair and I love the natural movement and I would suggest it for anybody. This has honestly been the best decision that I have ever made. And honestly, I've learned way more than just about like my curls and natural hair in general, but I've also learned a lot about like myself, like as a person, like internally. I have learned to love myself in my most natural state ever and that has been amazing, that has done wonders for my self-confidence and my self-love. And I think with those things, like it's just, I don't know, it's just been amazing, honestly. Like I, I really didn't think that I would get all of this out of it. Like I knew there'd be some kind of good feeling, like everyone talks about feeling free after it, but I didn't really think that it would change me as a person. But it really has, and for the better. I've just grown a lot as a person. So my hair's growing, I'm growing, it's just a lot of growth over here. Another one of my favorite things about this whole Big Chop journey is doing length comparisons. Like when I look back to how short I'd cut my hair, I literally, like I don't remember feeling like it was that short. So it's not until now, like right up on like 11, 12 months in my journey that I'm able to put my hair in a clip. It can actually go in like a full ponytail and it's a little teensy poof. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen that in my IG story the day that I did it. But stuff like that is like really exciting. I think that's one of the second best thing. So the first best thing about this is the natural hair community, boom. Second best, Realizing that hair actually grows and pick comparisons are the bomb.com. It just it's just amazing So right now I am in a phase where I'm just completely in love with my hair in love with my curls and I've been feeling super like challenged and inspired to kind of get more creative with my short hair a lot of people say like oh my god I'm not chopping off my hair because I couldn't like you would get bored of it being the same every day which trust me I do not because I am lazy and I don't mind rocking my afro every day all I gotta do is this in the morning and that's it girl I'm there but for some people that would become boring but honestly, there's so much that you can do with curly hair and I'm a creative, so for me, it's like exciting. And now that she can clip up, oh, you wait, you wait. There's a whole world of possibilities now, y'all. So I always get a lot of questions about, you know, like, what do I do? I'm going through my natural hair journey. Like, what tips would you have? So here are my top tips or like my top pieces of advice for anyone who is at any point in their natural hair journey. So first and foremost, I know you guys have probably heard me say this tons of times in other videos, but honestly this makes all the difference, and that is to stay positive. The thing that I've learned in this journey is that hair is literally just that hair and it will grow back eventually it will and it's fine it's not the end of the world you'll ruin your entire natural hair journey if you just stay putting down your hair and getting frustrated the whole time so take all of that frustration and all of that bad energy and kind of flip it let it make you feel challenged and challenge yourself to get creative and just go out there and try different products and eventually you will get the hang of it it'll be fine and at the end of the day you're gonna look back and think like oh i was getting upset i was legit crying and it's just hair you know what i mean my second piece of advice would be to find a group or even just one naturalista to talk to like a fellow curly girl who you could just vent to share products with watch YouTube videos with, like just having that one person or group of people makes all the difference. Product recommendations from a group of naturalistas, boom. That, I mean, that saves you time, money, everything. For my third piece of advice, I have to say, stop comparing your curls to other people's curls, okay? That is like a major no-no. That is the quickest way to get frustrated with your curls. 
everybody wants curls that aren't theirs. I'm a firm believer in that no two curls look the same. Like, absolutely not. You might have hair that's similar to someone else's, but no two curls are the same. Which I think is one of the most amazing things about natural hair. Like, literally, like, nobody's curl patterns are exactly the same. Not even twins. All right, and then my fourth piece of advice would be to experiment. Research different hairstyles, you know, look up different things, try out different things for your hair. You have like an extra 15 minutes one day, play around with your hair and see what it can do. That's how I found out that my hair could do this. That's how I found out my hair could actually fit in a ponytail. It's just literally from experimenting. All right, and then my last piece of advice is for you to be sure that you're doing this for you. If you start your natural hair journey because Sally told you she thought it would be a good idea for you or because your favorite blogger is raving about it on her YouTube, then you're gonna just, that's when you're gonna be frustrated, that's when you're gonna go back to relaxing, like that's when it's just gonna be a hot mess, a waste of money, a waste of time, all of the above. If this is something that you have decided is just 100% for you, that is when you're gonna experience the best kind of hair journey that you can possibly experience. No one should be able to talk you out of anything once you've made your decision. So that could be a decision to big chop, that could be a decision to transition, it could be a decision to do anything, honestly, but once you know that you've made that decision for you, you are already like 10 steps ahead in the game. Know within yourself that you are doing what you want to do for the betterment of yourself. And that's it. Drops mic. But yeah guys, that is it for this video. If you have any, I mean any kind of specific questions on hair, anything at all, go ahead and comment it below. I'm gonna make like a special effort to reply to every single person's comments under this video. I swear, I promise. If it takes a day for me to reply, please don't get upset with me, but I will be replying to every single comment on this YouTube video. So ask away anything that I didn't cover on here that you wanted to hear, ask, ask, ask. If you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my new videos and just keep up with me and my natural hair journey. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.